Hello and welcome to Web Mentors YouTube channel and you're watching Python tutorial series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about installation and setting up of PyCharm IDE. And in our last video we have seen about the installation and setting up of Eclipse IDE with PyDev. So PyCharm is a paid IDE for Python and it is very good in what it has to do. And it has a lot of features and integrations in PyCharm itself. So you don't have to go and do something outside of PyCharm in order to integrate something in your Python code. And we need to download the PyCharm IDE and it is available for download in the Python official website itself. So the short link for the download section of PyCharm is bit.ly slash PyCharm IDE. So when you use this link you will be directly sent to the page where you can download the PyCharm IDE from. So when you go to the home page or the official page of PyCharm it's going to be like this. So it is www.jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. So this is one of the products of JetBrains. And JetBrains has a very huge list of products that is available for developers and programmers. So PyCharm is one among them and it is really really good in Python IDE. So to get the PyCharm from the home page you can click this link and it will be directed to the download section of PyCharm and if you have used the short link that I've provided you will be directed directly to this link so you don't have to worry about it so there's two versions one is the professional edition and another is the community edition community edition is a completely free IDE for you whereas professional edition is going to be costing you some money and you can download the free 30 day trial and try it out before buying it and the pricings will be viable when you click this buy and renew link I'm just going to go and show you how it looks actually so it's $199 in order to get a new license and in order to renew the license from the older versions of PyCharm you can use this link which is going to be $99 so it is a little bit costly when you are starting up with Python so I don't recommend actually buying PyCharm straight away out of the box so use Eclipse and the initial stages get yourself settled with Python learning so once you are okay once you think that okay I'm ready I can start programming Python that is the time you have to go into JetBrains Python IDE the PyCharm in order to do some robust development so you can indeed download the free 30-day trial and you can click this button in order to download it it will be directly going to the download page where the download will be starting after three seconds so I have already downloaded the file and kept it ready so it's going to look something like this PyCharm Professional 4.0 so in order to install it just double click it it will open up so this is the PyCharm setup wizard the installation wizard all you have to do is that press next go to the next and agree the license agreement and you can actually change the location where you want to install the PyCharm 4.0 but I don't recommend it just stick to the same folder just press next and you can create desktop shortcuts and associate the Python files to PyCharm. I recommend that if you are actually a beginner because if you click the Python files for example .py files PyCharm will automatically open up in order to show the file. So press next and this is not something that you have to change around so just press install. It's going to take some time in order to install it. Well I'm just going to pass this video so that it goes on. Well the PyCharm setup has been completed so this is what the screen that you'll be seeing once the installation is complete so you will not be prompted to do anything in the middle so don't worry about it. Well installation of Python is not the simple thing because PyCharm or any of the JetBrains product is going to use Java. So if it's not there it's not going to run so try to install the Java JDK the latest version is most preferable and also you have to install Python in your operating system in order to make sure that the PyCharm is going to run better. So I'm going to just complete the installation by clicking the finish. So I'm back at the desktop where my JetBrains PyCharm 4.0 is. So I'm going to double click it in order to open it and this is what the screen you will be seeing when it opens up. So I don't have any of the PyCharm previous versions installed in my system. So I am going to select the I do not have a previous version of PyCharm or I do not want to import my setting. So let's click OK. And here we are, we'll be provided with a screen in order to input our license key. So we haven't bought it, so I'm going to use evaluate for free for 30 days. So if you have already bought PyCharm, then use the key that is provided by the PyCharm website itself. So 
evaluate for free for 30 days. And I'm going to accept the license agreement, press OK. Well, it's still loading. If you have actually entered the license key, you might see your name in here. So not the PyCharm Evaluator. So if you are using the evaluation, it will be showing PyCharm Evaluator. And the expiration date as well. So it is in the 24, 2014. My PyCharm is going to evaluate. So here we are. This is going to be the initial configuration. Well, you can actually configure it in order to best suitable idea. So I'm going to click the click to preview. And I'm going to change it to make it look a little bit better for me. So I'm going to just try it around with different schemes. So let's actually give some dark colors. Well, I'm just sticking with Intel IJ, no problem. Default. Pressing OK, and here we are. We can create our first project. I'm just going to go with pure Python. So here is where you can see the different frameworks that you can use along with Python. So PyCharm is going to give you all these options. Django is one of the best frameworks that you can find in Python. And Google App Engine is a place where you can run your entire website well pretty much for free of course if you are within the limitations of Google App Engine's free limitations so there's others as well but these two are pretty much used the most in PyCharm or any other simple Python programming so let's go with pure Python at the moment I'm just going to keep it as web dev enters and create Well, it's asking for some network permissions. I'm just going to allow the access to the network so that you can use. And you're going to get the tip of the day screen opened up every time. So if you don't want this tip of the day screen to show up every time you open PyCharm, just click this and press close. Well, this is how it looks when you open it up for the first time with the project. So I'm having a project named as WebDev Mentors. And it's going to actually load all the files that is involved in WebDev Mentors and index them so it's going to take some time if you're having a huge project but this one is fairly new it has nothing so it's still taking time that means that my computer is dead slow well it's taking time huge time well, let's actually get going I want to create my new file there's the first file the Python file I'm going to name it as hello world the first program that anyone will do in any programming language when they learn is hello world. So this is actually the author that comes up automatically with PyCharm. You can delete it if you don't want that. Well, I'm just going to print out hello world in here. So when you use double codes, that means it's going to be a string that is going to be printed out. So, well, this is actually the program that's going to show me. I'm going to run it. Run hello world. And you're getting the output in the console. So here it is, the file name where it has been saved, and here it is how the output will be displayed. So hello world is the output, and we got the output successfully. So that means your JetBrains PyCharm is working super fine. Okay. So if you're having some problem, just go to the run and edit the configurations. So there you have to select your Python installation version. So if it is not correct then it means if it is not there then it is not configured with your Python installation so you have to add your Python interpreter in your JetBrains PyCharm in order to make it work fine so that is not going to be available here right away so you have to add it in your settings area so I'm just going to go into the settings spot go into project web mentors and go into project interpreter so here you can see that this project interpreter is there so if it is not there, go into the settings icon in here, press it, and then add the local Python installation. So it's going to be C drive Python 34 for me. So it might be different for you if you have changed the installation. So just select them, select the python.exe, press OK, and it's going to open up. We've added it, apply it, OK. And now I'm running it again, just to show you, run hello world. And for the first time when you run it, you have to click this one. This will not be available for you. So when you click this, you will be asked for which file it has to run. So press the hello world and 
your output will be displayed immediately. So that actually ends the installation and setting up of PyCharm in your operating system, which is the Windows operating system. It's pretty much the same for any other operating system, let it be Mac or Linux. Of course, PyCharm is available for Linux and Mac as well. So you can download it and use it. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And if you find this video useful, please hit the like button. Also share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it in the comment section of this video or on the Google Plus page, Facebook page or Twitter feed. And you can also contact me personally through the social links I've shared in the description section of this video. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.